Wanna throw you into a blender with me? Set the oven to 350 degrees And together forever we will always be Baked with love Baked with love like the cold and the warm When they join make a storm Like a cake needs to rise If you look in my eyes You'll see the recipe is true The key ingredient is you
Thank you to Scrub Lord Nathan for subbing with Prime. We love having you here. Thanks for joining us today. How are you guys doing today? Hello, my close personal friends. Max, we can't see you. We can only see a Hooters employee. Hey now. That's no way to talk about a lady. This is a lady you're speaking about. A lady with big fat milk jugs dangling out of this tiny bikini moo. Moo! Moo! Bottom, bottom, boodle little 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 boom. Bottom, bottom, boodle little little doom. Bottom, bottom, boodle little little doom. Bottom, bottom, boodle little little doom. Bottom, bottom. Yeah, how are you guys? How is everyone? I hope you're all doing well. We're gonna be playing Least of the Painful today. Work's going fine today. Well, how fine could it really be if it's work? Think about that. Ask yourself that. You know? I'm as sick as a dog. Well, that sucks. I hope you feel better. I hope you get well soon. You know, the last time I streamed... And I'm sorry for being late today, and I'm also uh, sorry for not streaming last Friday, but the last time I streamed, somebody asked me in the chat um, if I was going to stream a reaction to the Nintendo Direct that was coming up, and I said no. And my reason was because um, when you watch those, when you watch streamers reacting to Nintendo Directs, it's always a little forced. It always seems a little forced because when you watch a Nintendo Direct, there's a good, you know, it's probably like a good 95% of the announcements are things you don't care about. And I just thought to myself, they're not going to really announce anything I care about. So it'll just be like me sitting here with the Nintendo Direct going kind of like mumbling to myself. Like, oh, I don't care about this, I don't care about that, I don't care about any of this. Or maybe if I want to seem more positive, I could say like, oh, this looks cool, oh, that looks neat. But then it's like I'm lying. So what really is the point? Um... But I was like, no one's gonna want to watch me react to a Nintendo Direct because there's no way they're going to announce something that I'll be crazy about. That's what I thought! That's what I thought. And then... They announced a remake to Thousand Year Door, one of my favorite games ever. Easily in, easily in the top three in terms of favorite games. And so now I'm pivoting to, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't stream my reaction because I'm glad that <laughs> nobody got exposed to my humiliating Soy Jack reaction to my, one of my favorite games ever being remade from the ground up. They're remaking it from the ground up, it looks like, anyway. I don't know, maybe it's still got some of the same bones. But, man, they're doing it. They're finally doing it. A whole new generation of people are going to be exposed to the Thousand Year Door. Did you shriek like a tiny girl? No, I didn't. I contained myself. But if I was streaming, I might have. Because when you're streaming, you're a little more on. You're a little more alert. But I can't believe it's... It's... A, it, it, it's... It's... It's an amazing game. It's incredible. Like, I don't know what it is about that game. I don't know why people are so obsessed with it. I don't know why it has the legacy that it has. But... It, I really am one of those people who thinks that game is as special as, as everyone is always saying it is. I think that game deserves the hype. It's, you know, I don't know. They were just firing on all cylinders when they made it. I don't know. It's, you know, you're going to do a playthrough? Well, I, yeah, if I can. 
If I can, I would love to. I never played A Thousand Year Door, and I'm 26. I've heard the hype, so I'm definitely picking it up. Well, you'll want to be careful. Um, because... I also, you know, like, I fully anticipate a lot of people playing it for the first time are gonna be like, Oh, this game is really great. I understand why people love it so much. But I could also see... You know, the game is like 20-something years old. You know, I was first in either middle school or high school when I played it. So it's kind of old. It might be antiquated in a few ways. Um, you know, we've learned a lot about game design since then. And also... The hype just might be too much, you know? Like, who knows how much hype is really appropriate. Um, so if you- if it's been overhyped for you, you might play it and be like, oh, I mean, yeah, this is good, but I don't see what the big deal is. But I think it's great. It's one of my favorite games. Um, I adore it. I'm so happy. I'm over the moon. This is like the best thing that they could have announced for me. Um, God, I'm just wondering, like, how much they're gonna change it, though. Like, are they gonna go in and are they gonna... Are they gonna add new content? Are they gonna make, you know, little changes to things to tighten things up? Is it gonna be like the Resident Evil 4 remake? Is it just gonna be new new visuals and... and... and new music and there's gonna be no change to the... to the gameplay or the story whatsoever? Did you know you can play as Waluigi? Equip the Wario and Luigi badges at the same time. I did know that. I did know that. But it's great. It's a great game. And now a whole new generation of people are gonna get to try it out for the first time. And I'm happy. I'm happy about that. It's nice. It's a nice thing that's happening. It's crazy. It, it really is crazy that this is happening. It's- it must be because they know that the internet is obsessed with this game. Because it almost makes no sense that this is happening. If you know what I mean by that. Because they've already announced they're doing a, a remake of... of the first Mario RPG. <laughs> they're remaking two Mario RPGs at once. What on earth is happening? They announced the second Mario RPG remake before the first one was even released. Why? Why on earth? It's because they know. It must be because they know that people are obsessed with this game. This is like... Do you think it's gonna justify 60 bucks? Eh, I don't... I mean, they could charge that and I would pay for it gladly. Um... But yeah, it must be because they know that people are obsessed with this game. It's the game's legacy, like, they they must know people on the internet will not shut up about it. It's the only explanation. But, I mean, you know, whatever caused it. Let's not look a gift horse in the mouth. I skipped over the original Paper Mario. Which is, you know, that's just another thing that contributes to the weirdness of the whole thing. Because the, the original Paper Mario is an N64 game, it has more to gain by being remade. Um, but they skipped over that one. But yeah. Very excited. The fact that people will justify paying full price for this game is probably why Nintendo is so tight on emulators. Yeah... Um, I mean, the lower the price, the better, but also, on the other hand, you know, like, we have to just be happy that we even got this at all. Because we could have also just never received this whatsoever, and I'm sure Nintendo would have loved to have done that. Um... I don't know. I don't know what the- what they're gonna charge for the remake of, uh, Mario RPG, either. This whole situation is crazy. It seems very un-Nintendo that they did all this. If that makes sense. If you know what I- if you catch my cult by that. <laughs> Mario's gotta pay rent, too. Mario does not have problems paying rent, okay? He lives in the Mushroom Kingdom. He's doing fine for himself. Are you done with Lisa for today? No, we haven't even started. <laughs> 
We haven't even started. Haven't even started. I have a guide for how to get through this game. Combat is turn-based. You give each of your characters their battle order and then let them go off in fisticuffs. Attack determines the amount of damage you deal with basic attacks and with most special moves. You can have up to four characters in your team. Only characters that are actively participating in combat gain experience. SP-based. These characters use SP for their special moves, which I guess stands for special points. There's also TP, which I still don't know what that means. Um, did you get any spoilers? I don't think I've been spoil spoiled yet. I don't think I've been spoiled consistently. Um, I know that there's an enemy that you have to fight named Satan, but I think that's pretty much all I know about the game. TP works like a rage meter or a limit break thing. Characters begin battle with a random amount of TP between 0 and 25. They can get more TP by landing basic attacks, receiving damage, guarding, or by performing certain special moves that raise TP. There are also certain items that can raise TP in battle. TP-based characters generally only have to perform one or two basic attacks in between using their special moves. They often start out with enough TP for a special move right at the beginning of combat. Um, dial combo. When you perform basic attacks with these characters, you will be prompted to perform a string of different hits using the WASD keys. Special moves may be triggered by hitting specific button combinations. Most prominently, your main character does dial combos. I don't know what that means. You have to perform the exact button combination specified in the skill description. You can't land any extra hits. Well, that's weird because I thought I was. If a move requires WSD, DDWSD won't work. So, I look up to you as an artist? Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for joining us today. TP stands for Toad Points? Mm, yeah, I guess so. I guess if we're talking about toads. Hmm. Um. Yeah. But maybe you guys can help me along the way, because this game is a little... This game is proving to be a little tricky for me. Um. So maybe you guys can... Can help me out. If it's not too much trouble. If you're interested in that. But we do need to get into it. We have to play. We're not just whistling Dixies around here. Huh. Your yelling is my mental voice. My yelling is your mental voice? I sure I I I certainly hope not. Play at least of the painful definitive edition. Alright. Let's try it out. One problem that I'm having is, um, so you choose all of your attacks for your characters to do, and then, you know, everything plays out, but it plays out so quickly that I don't have the time to read it all. And I guess... I <sighs> don't know what that was about. I guess the idea is that the game is just like, well, it, you know, all of the minutia of everything doesn't really matter. But I'm thinking, like, mm, does it? Isn't it important, though? Like, don't I need to know all that stuff? Huh. So we need to figure out where to go and what to do. Should I talk to that guy? Hey, man. I don't know who I need to talk to. I, whoop! Okay, this is a fight. <laughs> oh, no! Everyone is KO'd. Okay, I should leave. Brad's party has started to escape. However, it was unable to escape. Well, that's no good. <sighs> I saved right as everybody was KO'd. And now only Olan can fight. I'm gonna turn this down a wee bit. That's not too loud for you guys, is it? Keep escaping? Anybody ready for the Tiny Toons Tuniversity? I was watching that earlier. 
You know what's funny about that is... <laughs> in the opening theme... Um... Elmira and Montana Max are like... Grayed out. They're like shadowed out. As if to suggest... It's a fighting game and those characters haven't been unlocked yet. That's a party. You started to escape. Did I do it? Yeah, alright. Okay. We're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little loony. And in this cartoony, we're invading your TV. We're comic dispensers. We crack up all the sensors on Tiny Toon Adventures. Get a dose of comedy. Yeah, Elmira and Montana Max haven't been unlocked yet. We have to unlock them. I don't know how we unlock characters on a TV show. <laughs> I swear. Go on YouTube and look up the new theme song. They are grayed out. Or sh they're they're in shadow. All the characters are in the foreground and they're in the shadow. Whoa. What was that? Can I jump on this? Uh, no. Or yes, I can. I thought it was going to be bouncy, though. I-N-N? -N. Oh. Hello. Can I talk to you? Want to sleep here, buddy? Oh, I mean, how can I, how can I resist? I'll watch over you for ten magazines. Uh... You don't know me. <laughs> Okay, well let me let me look into my options first. There are a lot of uh, tents here that I could maybe crash at. I'm sure you're nice. And I do need somebody to watch over me as I slept. Maybe you? Hey, how'd you find us? You must be a pretty smooth guy. I like that. Can I sleep here? No, it's not. That's okay. Somebody just wrote the words, kill you, on the wall. Very intimidating. Hey, baby. Oh, wait, you're a man. You, you're all must, you all must be men. So there are no women in this game. The worst thing about there being no more women is that there'll be no more kids. Yeah, yeah, I guess. At Acquil University, we earn our two degree. The teaching staff's been getting up since 1933. Oh, hello. Why has everybody in this game got their nipples out? Don't mind our boss. He inherited this gang from his brother. And he thinks the name is lame, so he acts tough. But we're harmless. Okay. 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 Hey, you're looking pretty sexy. Striking a sexy pose. I like your glasses. We are the schoolboy shufflers. Mess with us and you get the slip, pal. And I ain't talking to tension. Okay. Okay. Wow. I'm honestly surprised you even found us in here. You must be really awesome at adventuring and stuff. Hmm. Tell you what. Brando's army has set up camp here to find that girl. We've cut off our links to the outside. If you can clear out all the rando guys in this area, I'll let you pass. Beyond this point is the only generator within miles. It's loaded with gasoline. And you look like the kind of guy that sniffs gas. Oh, I'm the kind of guy that sniffs ass. So this is right up your alley. How about it? Kill the rando guys? You're mean to assume. Hmm. I don't know. Wow, everyone in this game looks so greasy. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, yeah, whatever. He'll be back, you guzzler. I mean, you're gonna be a little greasy in the post-apocalypse. It's gonna happen. You're gonna get a little grease on you, you know? Alright. Let me stay with you. Let me stay at the inn. Watch over you for 10 magazines. Okay. You gave him 10 mags. Fantastic. A little bit greasy. Just a little bit greasy. Music is a little too loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. Just a wee bit. Just a tad. 
Just a tad. Just a tad. Hey, man. Want to sleep here? <laughs> no, no. I just woke up. I just woke up. I'm good. Oop. There was ten of my hit points. That was stupid. Hello. Wow, I'm honestly surprised you even found us in here. Must be up. Oh, yeah, I read this. I read this. Hmm. I'm guessing that I have to agree to progress. To progress. If you sit at a campfire, there'll be an interaction with the characters. Okay. Another cool feature they added to Lisa is the campfire scenes. If I, if I find a campfire, then I'll have to remember that. Rock and roll. I think there's something... I think there's about four guys roaming in caves around here. Come back when they're all dead. Alright. So I'm looking for guys in caves. Hmm. This area is optional, but gasoline is very helpful. Oh, so then should I bother doing this at all? Hmm. I was just looking to, to make progress. I was looking to get to get ahead in the story. And there's there's four guys in caves. I'm not sure where those caves are. Is he one of them? Are you a bad guy? Are you one of those bad guys? I'll fight him. I'll fight him. I think I could take him anyway. Okay. Fight. Um, my skills are... Fireball. DWW, a flying double foot press. Buster punches, surprise attack, fireball. Okay, so here's my question. Here's what I still don't understand. Um... When I choose attacks from my skills list, is that more preferable or less pref preferable to entering in the commands by selecting Armstrong style? Is the idea that when I select them from the skills list, it's basically the same except it does it for me and it charges me SP? If you do the combinations, you basically just get some extra hits, which is preferable, right? Entering them in is preferable, it's free damage. Okay. Do the combinations for extra damage, free real estate, it'll charge you SP anyway. Anyway? So even if I enter it in, it takes SP. Hmm. When you have withdrawal, you can't use Armstrong style. It does not damage. So just choose from skills when you have withdrawal. Okay, so which one am I doing? Let's try Fireball. WSD. Okay. For Terry, will just do a basic attack, I guess. For Nern, tell your friend some of your favorite techniques increases TP of one ally. For Nern, we'll have him shoot, I guess. For Olin, for Olin, he doesn't have uh, he doesn't have fight. He is loose, which I'm not sure what that means. And his skills are big shot. Vantage point. We'll have him do a big shot, and that'll take some TP, but he'll get some back anyway. 145 WSD Fireball. Oh, yeah. Miss. So even if I enter it in, it still takes away SP. Shoot. Well, that's no good. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna keep doing it, though, because what choice do I have? Attack, uh, you can increase TP for Olin, and Olin can just attack normally. Damn, Olin is strong. And Terry is weak. And Nern is helpful. SP is very easy to recover. Okay. Hmm. 
I already did that. I'm gonna go do a shoot for him. And we're gonna do a big sh Ooh, bomb arrow. An explosive arrow. Let's try that. Miss! What? Who said what? Oh. Okay, everyone just got hurt. Everyone is fire is on fire. See, that's what I that's what I mean about everything goes by too fast. Like, I think he threw a firebomb at us. I think that's what happened. But it happened so quick that it's hard to, uh... I didn't get to read anything. Terry, you're no good attacking. Use your... You know, use your different skills. Tell your friend... Some of your favorite combat tips increases SP, verbal bash, use disparaging words to upset your opponent. This can either make them cry or get pissed. Little cheer. Give an enthusiastic chant. Okay, let's try verbal bash. Nern, you can just shoot. And then Olin, you can just... Loose. Which I don't know what that means, but... It means bow and arrow. It means bow and arrow. Oh, now he's pissed. I guess I can take a longer nap now. And down he goes. And Nern leveled up. Now that's one for the books. If you say so, bud. Got an empty bottle, and I got three mags. Bye. <laughs> he just, just fades away. He just fades away into nothingness. Alright, we don't need him. We don't need him. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know how to proceed. I'm gonna save there. Am I saving? Yeah, that's that's probably saving. When enemies are pissed, they can hurt themselves. All right. Hmm. Can I go up there? We're tiny, we're toony, we're all a little loony. And in this cartoony, we're invading your TV. We're comic dispensers, we crack up all the sensors. On Tiny Toon Adventures, get a dose of comedy. I don't think I can make it over there. Oh, yeah, I'm good. I don't want to go up there yet, though. So here's Acme Acres, it's a whole wide world apart. Our home sweet home, it stands alone, a cartoon work of art. The scripts were rejected, expect the unexpected. On Tiny Toon Adventures, it's about to start. When you're done with this, you should know there's a good amount of fan games for this, and a lot of them are fantastic, just more stories in the same world with different angles. Um, okay, I might be interested in that if I end up loving this, but I don't know if I'm super sold on it yet. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to fight this guy. My name is Treats Needy. I'm a treasure hunter. Rumor has it that this cave has some sick loot hidden in it, but I just can't find it. Okay, well then I guess I won't fight you then. It's not giving me the option. The scripts were rejected. Expect the unexpected. It's my critique of the new show, is that they don't say the scripts were rejected, expect the unexpected. And that was always my favorite part when I was a kid. I love this song. Reminds me of my youth. This is a perfect moment. I hope nobody ever comes and ruins it. <laughs> Sorry, pal. It's time to fight. You know, I hate to ruin your perfect moment. Status, withdrawal, attack, defense, agi, I guess agility, max HP, luck, evasion, speed, accuracy are all down. Well, that's no good. Hmm. 
Hey Max, out of curiosity, was there ever a fighting game you were really into? Like Street Fighter, MK, etc.? Well, I love Smash Brothers. Um, it's not like the most conventional fighting game. I remember playing Mortal Kombat on my Sega Genesis when I was a wee bibuski. Yeah, your attacks are all going down the toilet until you go to bed. <laughs> Why do you say it like withdrawal? Am I not pronouncing the word withdrawal correctly? The best to use right now is fireball. Okay. Well, how am I supposed to say withdrawal? I don't know how that word is pronounced in any other way other than the way that I say it. Terry, you can do a verbal bash. Nern, you can shoot. And Olan, you can also shoot, even though for you it's called loose. And execute. Terry is being hurtful. Pissed. Nern attacks. Oh, I'm not doing any damage. Is that because of the withdrawal? Most people say it like withdrawal, which is incorrect, isn't it? Withdrawal. Withdrawal? Withdraw withdrawal. You guys are making me self-conscious about the way I talk. Now, no matter which way I say it, it's going to sound wrong. Withdrawal is how it's spelled. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Terry is not doing good in terms of health. Um, yeah, okay, Terry, here's your verbal bash again, and then Nern, you can shoot, and then Olan, you can also shoot. <laughs> Terry is being hurtful. Nern attacks. Good night forever. Okay, so the fireball works when you're under withdrawal. I'm assuming it's because I have withdrawal that nothing is doing any damage. You should try using Olan's skills more. Okay. Either sleep or take joy. Oh, I leveled up. Nern, my sweet wife, God rest her soul. <laughs> you said she was ugly. You said she looked like a horse. Sweet lemon tea. Eight mags. Now I'm curious what other words you say different. I don't think I say the word withdrawal that differently. I think I say that normally. I think you guys are just trying to make me neurotic. Ow. You guys are trying to make me <laughs> even more self-conscious than I already am. Turn the stereo on and off. Hmm. I've already been over here. <sighs> if you guys really want to help me, instead of criticizing the way I pronounce words, you should be telling me where to go next. I'm just pointing out something I don't hear a lot, that's all. Okay. Withdrawal. With... Withdrawal. Withdrawal. I don't know, it all sounds weird to me now. I said it too many times. You say it too many times, it ruins it. Whoops! Only move one square at a time. If you're not careful, you go over. Gotta remember that. Gotta remember that. I'll save. I killed one guy, so I'll save. That feels like an accomplishment. This way? I feel like this is the way I came from. Bring her to Rando and he will give you the world. Okay. Well, I'm supposed to kill the Rando guys. This way goes back to Area 1 hub. Right. 
Well, then was it a mistake for me to even be here? Oh, if I walk through the dark, I'm gonna have to fight like five guys. Yo, Max, why is this more entertaining than your cartoons? Um, probably because my cartoons are terrible? Or I'm just a really great streamer. Hmm. You need to jump down a cliff to progress. Okay. Well, there's a lot of cliffs that I can jump down. Do not take your joy. Don't take joy. Noted. Could go down there. Ugh. I don't think I've been in here yet. Hmm. Come for Max, stay for Goofball. That's right. Goofball's the real star of the show. This just takes me up here. If I talk to this guy, is he gonna fight me? We had a deal. We did? I'm sorry, I don't remember what the deal was. You can't even get up to fight me. You have to fight me laying down, you spoiled brat. Hmm. Still have withdrawal. Even when I have withdrawal, I can still do the uh, fireball. So why not? Why not just keep doing fireball? And Terry, you can... A, do a verbal bash for us. Uh, Nurn, you can shoot, and Olan, you can use your big shot skill. Nope, wait, let's go back. And execute. It says Olan looses off. What on earth does that even mean? I never wanted this. And he's gone. <laughs> Terry, shout out to all my fans. I don't know if you have a lot of fans, Terry. I'll be your fan, but, um... You know, congratulations on leveling up, Terry. And you too, Nern. Terry, the Hinsters moving on up. Nern, that's one for the books. Terry, sick drops. 12 mags. How many mags do I have total? Is that under equipment? Oh, 144 mags. Not bad, not bad. However, I don't think I came the right way. <laughs> because now that I'm here, there's nowhere to go. Careful with that drop, don't do it unless until you heal. Well, I can just go back the way I came, yeah? Or not. I'll find out. Oh yeah, I can't. Because I can't jump back up there. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna have to take a fall. I'm gonna have to take some fall damage, then. Upsa-daisy. Hmm. Do I need to heal first? Uh... Terry is doing not so great. But I don't know if they all take damage, I think just I do. Go back to that green hair guy? I don't know if I've seen a green hair guy. You're headed to the inn anyways. Okay, I don't know... Whoop! 50?! Why 50? And then Terry is done. I guess they all take it. Well, shoot! Now I gotta rest up again. Terry, for fart's sake, Terry. Making me look like a danged idiot. Hmm. Told you about cliffs, bro. Well, what choice did I have? I had no choice. I had no option. You talk fine. Your cartoons are good. And people like you. Max, don't think about it. You know, duly noted. 
Whoops! <laughs> Game over. Well, I suppose I walked into that one. Why is it white text on a blue screen? Of all of all the options, like why that? I think this is gonna undo that last guy we fought, but that's probably fine. Didn't get anything from fighting him anyway. What's the point? You hear that, buddy? I'm not fighting you again. Instead, I'm gonna go in here, even though I've already been in here. Yep. I fought that guy over there. He's gone. Him? He doesn't have green hair, he has a green hat. Or he's got a, a, a green handkerchief wrapped around his head? I didn't talk to him again. What's up? My name is Treats Needy. I'm a treasure hunter. Rumor has it that this cave has some sick loot hidden in it. But I just can't find it. Ah. <sighs> Me either, dude. Me either. <laughs> it's Treats Needy. Get his autograph. Whoa, are you THE Treats Needy? Dude, I'm a big fan. Whoop. Nope, nothing that way. Uh-oh, am I stuck? No, I'm good. Hmm. Wanna put you into a blender with me. Set the oven to 350 degrees. Oh. Yep, and then this just goes around this way. So... I'm gonna assume that I'm in the wrong area of the game entirely. And I'm gonna go back to the first area of the game. Was this a campfire? This is not a campfire. Oh my gosh, there's an asshole outside with a leaf blower or something. I hope nobody attacks me as I walk through this long, dark corridor. Ow! Oh, <laughs> Fart me. What the fucky? Alright, well, let's get him. Uh, Terry, you can use your verbal bash. Nern, you can shoot. Olon, you can shoot. Execute. Shadowy figure strokes you. I don't like that. Terry is being hurtful. Nern attacks. Okay, I can take these guys out pretty quick now. And Nern leveled up. That's not bad. Hmm. It's one for the books. I got a diet Coca-Cola Cola. Remember the cheer, Max. Should I use the uh, Terry's cheer? I don't know how helpful that actually is. Try Whoa! Thought I was getting out. All right, we'll fight someone else. Uh, why don't you cheer for yourself, Terry? Nern, you can shoot, and Olin, you can loose. Execute. Evade. Oh, that's no good. Nern attacks. Larry cheers you on. That increases Larry uh, Terry's HP. We're gonna have Brad do a fireball. Okay. Let's just do everything we just did again. A 
shadowy figure scratches. I don't trust these shadowy figures. Max, there is a Choco in the chat. What do I do? Um, Delete the Choco? I don't know. Max, I love your animations, and they inspired me to pursue the animation field. Well, I hope that has a... <laughs> I hope that has a more positive impact on your life than animation has had on mine. My sweet wife, God rest her soul. Nern, you think your wife is ugly. You've said that so many times. You said your wife looks like a damn horse. You said she's looking like a horse. Oh, this is new. Turn back. Okay. Oh, shoot! A snacky! Gotta fight a snacky? Alright. Hmm. I'm still going through withdrawal. And if Terry attack, let's just have everyone attack. It's a snake. How strong could it be? It's a snake. Oh no, KO'd! Oh! I can't believe we're getting our ass bit by a snake. The snake bears its fangs? Shoot. <laughs> Skip these guys, you don't need to fight the snakes, they're just cannon fodder? Max, I'm a big fan of you, but only from the old podcast and that one animation where you sing Le Les Mis. What is recommended viewing? I mean, how could you say you're a big fan when you have so little reference of all my stuff? I don't know, just go to my YouTube and start watching stuff. You ain't a big fan. You might be- you know what? You might be a large fan. Like, you might be a fan who's a large person. Uh, and for Olan, I'm gonna have him do the bomb arrow. I can't believe four adult men are getting their ass beat by one snake. That doesn't seem likely. There's a campfire down the way. Okay. Guys, can you please kill this snake? The snake should be dead. There we go. Thank you. Everyone levels up but Brad. Cause he, uh, he gets zero XP. I guess Nern didn't level up either. The Hintster's moving on up. Olin drinks on me. Let's get out of here. I don't want to get snaked again. Whoop. Hmm. Let's find her. Let's not. Let's not find her. See the red skulls? It means Rando's army has taken over. Which sucks. Because the only gasoline within miles is in there. How the hell am I gonna make firebombs? I don't know, that's not my problem. Are you dead? He's dead. Okay. Keep going left for the tent to sleep in. Hey, there's Lisa. The world can be saved. Find her. Status effects. Oh, I already read all these. Cool pick, huh? Arturistic. I'm gonna save real quick. Hey, bud. You know your nipples are out? Just like everyone else? You know, like, literally everyone is showing nipples in this world? Seems like a storm is brewing around here. You look tired. Are you hungry? If you have an empty bottle, you can have some of me soup. Also, if you need to rest, you can use my tent. Do I have an empty bottle? Would that be under items or equipment? Uh, I have ten empty bottles. Can't use them, though. Take some soup? Yes. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Hmm. Rest here? Yes. 
you can take more soup. Do I want to do that? I'll take three. I'll have three. I will have three of soup. Huh. Oh my gosh, is that, is that guy's dick out? Buddy, is that your dick? You can see that guy's dick. You can see his, his three pixel dick. His three pixel penis. Max, are you going to play Dream Daddy from the Game Grumps? Ah, I wasn't planning on it. Three pixels is perfectly average. That's what I've been saying! How big of a dick do I need to have? Three pixels is enough. You know, anything more than three pixels, women don't even like it. It's painful for them. I don't tell you that. Nobody says that. Like, ask, ask any woman. I'll tell you, they're fine with three pixels. I really don't know where to go. Okay, you win. Since you are such a loyal fan, I'll give, a, give you a real hair-raising hint that's sure to butter your bread. Somewhere nearby is a cave to the best secret treasure ever. Life's great Miss Terry's. Terry, you wrote this? I mean, I guess you would know, Terry. Have I been in here? I see a bottle I haven't collected yet. Is this a gap? Will I fall? Yes. That's fine. That bottle is mine. The best treasure ever. I found it. What's over here? What's over here? Oh my gosh, we got some god rays? <gasps> I finally found something! This is what I've been looking for. Yes! Yes! The mysterious tome. You got Terry's tutorial. Tome! Terry's tutorial tome! Access it from your key items menu. Okay. Whoa, man. Incredible. Everyone I know was searching for this treasure, and yet somehow, even without hair on your head, you were able to find it. Naturally, you needed my hints to guide you, but I'm pretty impressed nonetheless. Yeah, this is really exciting. <laughs> you should be really excited. You're so lucky, I'm jealous you get to experience this. I mean, this book covers so many vital topics, like, what is TP? I've been wondering that! How much damage does a critical hit really do? What does it mean to be cool? Do fishmen exist? All these, all things I answer expertly. A lot of people would pay big mags for such limitless knowledge. But please, don't take my word for it. The book speaks for itself. Once you start reading, I know you won't be able to stop. There is one thing people love more than hints. It's tutorials. Everybody loves a good hint, but people kill for tutorials. Shoot. Turns out a good tutorial is harder to find than a dang girl. Cherish this, Brad. People are gonna come people are going to come for it. You have to be a huge moron to let something this important to humanity fall into the wrong hands. Okay. Um Where can I find it? It's not here. Status? No. Items? Here we go. Terry's Tutorial Tome. It's filled with Terry's terrific hints. Let's hope they are all useful. Can I read? Table of Contents. 
Forward, Chapter 1, Battles. Chapter 2, Status Effects. Chapter 3, Your Gang. Chapter 4, Controls. Chapter 5, Strategies. Appendix, Terry's Hints. <laughs> with the forward says forward a short introduction to terry's tutorial tome and its prestigious author this so-called tutorial tome is so much more than a masterful recanting of one man's immeasurable grasp on life's how-to's in fact it is an honest glimpse into the soul of a man unafraid to seek the universe's unanswerable queries even with the heavy burden of teaching narrow-minded readers, Terry adeptly manages to convey information gracefully, densely, and most importantly, with a charm that belongs to the one and only one great good man, Terry Hints. Please enjoy this cachet of priceless knowledge. I think you pronounced that cachet. Hmm. HP, SP, SP. These are skill points. Some skills require skill points to use. If you don't have enough, you can use that skill. You can't use that skill. Bummer. Need a recharge? Consume some carbs. Why not explore the health benefits of a delicious Coca-Cola Cola? Resting will also restore your SP, but who wants an empty stomach? What is TP? These illustrious little digits are Terry points! Okay. It's a little weird that characters besides you use them like why would why would why would other people have terry points just kidding they're actually technique points damn it terry you got me <laughs> like sp some skills require tp in order to be used some gang members use sp but others use use tp you can earn tp by using some more basic attacks or even by taking damage save up enough and you can perform more powerful maneuvers tp doesn't persist between battles so don't be frugal use it or lose it the good news is every tp user will enter battle with 10 tp hmm. luck l-u-k this is the luck stat a higher luck makes one less likely to be afflicted by any negative status effects. Did you know some people are born luckier than others? Yes, I did know that. Hidden stats combos. Some gang members have a combo ability. When used, they can press WASD to start a combo attack. Each m input will execute a damage dealing attack. When all the combo inputs match the input sequence for a skill, that skill is also activated at the end of the combo. All the combo inputs match the input sequence for a skill. That skill is also activated at the end of the combo. The combination of combo attacks and the skill itself, this makes for a much more powerful attack than just using the gang member's skills on their own. Okay. So the advantage of entering in the combos myself is that I can get extra hits after or before. But I don't think I can do perf I don't think I can do before because I think then it doesn't work. Okay. Your gang. Equipment, gang menu, taking care of your gang. As you travel around Olath, you're going to take a beating. It's important to rest and heal your injuries. Jerky and other healing items are great in a pinch, but sleeping at a campfire or in a tent will get your entire gang back into tip-top shape. Just be careful if no one is watching your back while you sleep. Hmm. All right curious to know if he's got any good strategies for me. Weaknesses, joy abuse, stun lock, drunken brawling. Hmm. Some enemies are naturally weak to certain kinds of attacks, but some gang members may be able to render enemies weaker through their own attacks. For example, tossing gasoline or oil on an enemy makes them weak to fire. Oil and water might not mix, but oil and fire sure do. Joy is an incredible drug. It will power up anyone that uses it and make battles far easier. You'll need to be prepared for the withdrawal symptoms, but the power boost is probably worth it. Just don't be surprised if not everyone approves of your recreational habits. I, for one, do my best not to judge. Well, thank you. <laughs> you guys in the chat can't decide if I should be using joy or not. Don't use joy. Use joy. All right. Do not take the joy. Sometimes never always use joy. Guys, that's not really helpful. Don't use joy, be a man. Max, just be a joy. Accept the joy in your heart. Using it is easy mode, basically. Is that true? 
If that's true, then I'll probably use it, because I don't really feel like challenging myself. I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. There are many different status effects, and they don't just affect your gang. You can stun enemies, trip them, put them to sleep, and more. Used in combination with other attacks, this can be a vicious strategy. In theory, of course. I've never actually fought anyone before. Obviously, no one has been uncouth enough to try me. Well, you've fought now. Did you know that TP users can boost their starting TP before battles? Just have them booze it up when you're not actively fighting. If they get drunk, they'll increase the initial amount of TP they can bring into the next combat encounter. Just don't wait too long before picking a fight. The TP boost will disappear if their blood alcohol levels return to normal. Want to maximize your pre-gaming pre strategy? Higher quality liquor not only has a higher chance of getting people drunk, but it also results in a better TP boost. Overall, any extra TP can give you a big combat advantage, as long as you don't mind the moderate risk of a hangover. I'm told they suck. In conclusion, don't be a sober freeloader. What hints you got for us, baby? Kidnapping for ransom is, is common practice in Olath. If, you're true, if you truly care about your friends, don't push your luck. Just pay up. Continue reading. Yeah? Some folks out here don't hold back at all. They want to kill you and your friends, including me, permanently. Forever. Sometimes you just have to accept that, unless it's me. Don't let me die. Continue reading. Yes. Supposedly, there's a hidden clan of garbage dwellers. If you want to walk amongst them, consider adopting their stinky lifestyle. Continue reading. Yes. There are several maps found around Olaf which will lead you to treasure and hidden islands as long as you can find a boat captain to take you there. Continue reading. That's enough. I think I've read enough. I get the gist of it. Hmm. Well, thank you, Terry. Thank you for writing that book for me. Unfortunately, I came here expecting to finally find a way to progress forward, and I didn't do that. Right back to where I was, not knowing where to go next. But I do got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. How many times am I going to read this one? No! No! I'm done. Okay. Nope, nope! Oh, I have to remember not to do that! Okay, come on. The snake place was the direct way to progress forward because there's a bike there. Okay. Sometimes you can't avoid it. It's okay. <laughs> Minus 10 isn't that bad. Could be a lot worse. This game is very punishing. Like, I see a little... I see a little cliff, and my impulse is, as a gamer is to just be like, well, I can just, like, stroll over this. It's not that far. Well, in this game, it is that far. Hey, guys. You're doing fine. They're doing fine. Hey, what's up? They're dead. I got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Down in my heart. Hey, buddy. How's your three pixel penis doing? I've got that joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. You already been here? Uh! Careful. I think... I think I have. 
Yes, we've been here. Hello? Whoa! Uh, have I been here? There's nothing here I can do. Unless, can I jump up here? I can. <laughs> Whoop. Get me that bottle. Nope, I can't get it. Right, no bottle for me then. Didn't want it anyway. <laughs> hey, bud, who's that guy? Hey, man. You know your nips are out? And they're bright red? Don't even think about trying to make that jump. You're way too fat and dull looking. Get a bike, dude. Lose a couple pounds. Yeah. Yeah, I need to get a bike. What got you into streaming? I don't know. It seemed like fun. And also, I'm good at it. Because I'm good at everything I do. You guys know that about me. Oh, looks like I'm gonna get hurt. Minus 10, just minus 10, not that bad. <laughs> Another minus 10, not that bad, not that bad. Can you do an ASMR stream for us? Uh, maybe. What do you want me to get, like, get a pair of scissors and start cutting some construction paper? And this is that dark tunnel. And this little hole in the wall here. This leads me to this area, which I haven't explored yet. Turn back? No! I refuse. Staunchly. Whoa! Another snake? Yep. Shit. <sighs> Alright. Let's fight. Let's fight, snake. Um, Terry, you're no good to me. With your attacks. Oh, looks like Terry has a new, uh, new ability here. Inform. Is that the new one? Or is Cheer the new one? I don't know. Tell your friends some of your favorite combat tips. Increases SP. That's not the new one. Verbal Bash is not new. Okay, so Cheer is just like an upgraded version of Little Cheer, I'm guessing. Because... Yeah, it's just like, I guess it's just a cheer that restores more health. But we're gonna have him do a verbal bash against the snake. And, uh, Nern and Olan are just gonna attack regularly. Terry is being hurtful. Okay, Terry, this time I want you to cheer for Brad to increase his health. Nern and Olan, just keep attacking. Oof, he does a lot of damage. That snake does a lot of damage. It's a lot of damage. Okay, now, Terry, I want you to do exactly what you did again. Or, except you can't, so so never mind. We're gonna do the little cheer this time, and you're gonna do it for Olan. And you guys just keep attacking. Oh, great, now I'm poisoned. Beautiful. And I'm guessing uh, I keep that status effect. I'm guessing it doesn't just go away because the battle is over. I'm guessing that I am still poisoned. Hey Max, my birthday is coming up in like two weeks, and I don't know if I should ask for games, figures, or a drawing tablet right now. I'm really stuck trying to think of one as better than the rest. Any opinions? Uh, 
Ask for money. And then you'll have more time for thinking. <laughs> just tell your parents, hey, just give me that cold hard cash. And you can have all the time you want to think of how to spend that money. Yep, I'm still poisoned. Have any items that can help with that? Mystery jerky. Dried meat of common Aleuthian animals recovers 300 HP. Bottle of soup, 500. Joy, this drug makes you feel nothing. Use it in a pinch. Diet cola. If you throw this can at someone, it won't hurt. It's a soft drink. <laughs> recovers 200 SP. Empty bottle and cigarette. Flavor so smooth it heals poison! This ad is sponsored by Martlow Cigarettes. Brad is freed of poison. Beautiful! Come on. There's gonna be another snake. There's gonna be another snake eventually. Come on. Oh, I think I see something. Oh, that was nothing. Oh, there we go. Just skip the snake fights. There are a lot there's a lot of them. Can I escape? Brad's party has started to escape, however, it was unable to escape. I just figure, like, even though the fighting the snakes is kind of a pain in the ass, it still might be useful. Just for the, uh, the experience points. See, it won't let me. Oh my gosh. One bite! Terry, one bite is all it took for you to lose almost all of your health. There we go. See, now that snake did some serious damage on me. And if I had fought it, at least I would have gotten some XP out of it. And instead I got nothing. The escape chance for these snakes is always miserable. Yeah. This is the way I'm figuring out that I'm terrible at this game. Hey, you know what? I'm feeling pretty terrible at it myself. <sighs> oh, and there I go. And Olan is gonna be next. There we go. Everyone's terrible at Lisa. Campfire. Rest here? Yes. Is that it? Game over? Brad. Brad. Wake up. Wake up, Brad. Brad, it's important. Something I remembered about Olath. Something about our past. There you are! Now that you are awake, I must remind you. It's mighty rude to fall asleep in the middle of a conversation, Brad. Next time, just tell me if you're tired. I'd surely understand. I'm not one for wasting people's time. Ho-ho! <laughs> More importantly, it was getting to the point of everything we discussed earlier tonight. Did we have a conversation earlier? I have a theory, Brad. Based on all of my research based on the fact that we know at least one female still exists. That's my daughter you're talking about. Or should I say, is alive for now, I suppose. Um, her name is Lisa, I think. Based on all this, I believe that women... And by the way, before you pass any judgment, <laughs> I have to add that I've done a ton of research. Life after the Flash has been totally surreal. Honestly, none of this makes any sense. And the more I hang around you, Brad, the worse it gets. I'm really starting to wonder if you've taken so many of those drugs that you're starting to become a drug yourself. I've started to see and feel very weird things around you. Scary. But hard to resist, I must say. In fact, I'm starting to notice that the light reflects off of your shiny head in the same way it reflects off of a joy pill. Could this be a connection? I'm sorry, what did you wake me up for? Did you have some kind of p point to make here? Or is that just how light reflects off of perfectly round surfaces? Hmm. 
Can I go back to sleep? I'm sorry, Brad. Oh, I just got lost in thought. All of this mysticism and speculation is beneath you. Dry, plain, direct information. That's all you're that's what you're all about. I knew I pinned you right as a history buff, my boy. And history waits for no one. Recording history, learning from history, building whole societies off of tales of facts. Sometimes fiction... That's why it's more important than ever to discuss and record these wild times. If only the Wasteland had some type of magazine of information. Oh, wow. I just had a serious mind blast. Do you remember newspapers, Brad? I do. I never read them, but I did always keep them. In fact, I collected them. That's a weird thing to collect. That's a collection that never really ends. I think that's something that you might do if you're a hoarder. I don't think you're supposed to collect those. Do you know why? Do you know why, Brad? I don't know. Can I go back to sleep? You'll never guess, but I'll give you a chance. This guy... Coupons, Brad! I loved coupons! I mean, heck, that's why I married my tr <laughs> tr tr trough-sucking wife. Trough-sucking? In the first place, God rest her soul, she loved coupons almost as much as me. I had stacks and stacks of newspapers, all full of coupons. Each news newspaper had anywhere from one to five coupons in each issue. And newspapers came one time a week. Uh, I thought they come every day. I feel like this guy has trouble reading social cues because I am very clearly tired and he is very close to my face right now. <laughs> On a good month, you can net 25 to 200 coupons a month if you factored in my private hoard. I tell you what, bratty boy, if I could have just one thing from before the flash, just one thing, it would be newspapers. I'd love to wake up at a campfire with a tight wadded up newspaper all rolled up just waiting for me. Squeezed together by a bouncy rubber band, that's just barely too tight. Pages ready to burst, coupons begging to be drenched in my penny-pinching gaze. Golly, I'd trade the filthiest of mags for one last newspaper. Hell, I'd cut my own arm off for a newspaper. Maybe both of them. Don't do that. And you wouldn't be able to use them. You wouldn't be able to pick them up. Oh, gracious me, I've had so many dailies. Oh, right. You're uninitiated. Us in the CCC, Coupon Collecting Community, we would call newspapers dailies for short. Newsies, paper, <laughs> papers, newspaps, the rag, the weeklies. Hmm, the news. And for coupons, we would call them clips. Clippies, clippings, discount documents, thrift tickets, bargain bills, a legal license to loot, certificates to save. Ooh, those folks taught me a lot about couponing. I'm embarrassed to admit, but did you know that I would go to the supermarket? I would bring all my newspapers from home. I would go to the supermarket. When I would go to the supermarket, I would bring all my newspapers from home. I'd fill a whole cart with just newspapers full of coupons every time I went. Just clip them out before you go. Ho <laughs> ho. One day a woman came up to me while I was shopping and handed me a pair of scissors and said, You should buy these scissors. In my head, I said, you should mind your own business. But in the moment, I ended up saying, shut the fuck up, you scissor-peddling hag. Can't you see I'm busy having a bad day? She ignored that and took the time to explain to me that I could clip the coupons and leave the worthless newspapers behind. Wow! What a woman! I ended up marrying her. That's your wife, God rest her soul. Turns out you can be rude to whoever you want and still find love. You just need to keep being mean until you find that special someone patient enough to tolerate it. That's bad advice. That's real bad advice. What I'm saying is... Well... Um, hey, sorry, Brad, it's just... My eyes have adjusted to the dark now and... Well, not to be rude, but... You have a lot of blood on you, in your beard, on your clothes. You smell like blood, too. It's just, it reminds me of a childhood friend, Rodney Donkhausen. Red Rod, we called him. Or was it Rad Rod? 
That's right, Rad Rod, because his red hair was so radical. Ho oh. ho. I have so many great stories about that goof, but those will have to wait for another time. All this back and forth has got me tuckered out. I should get some rest. Good thinking, Brad. Getting some winks in, too. <laughs> Sleep is... important. For fuck's sake. You never even told me what you wanted... what you woke me up for! Why, in the four times, I'd rest 13, 17 hours a day. Ho-ho! <laughs> of course, that was... back when... It was back when... Mahogany. What was I just talking about? That's a good question. Oh yeah, Rad Rod. Rude and red he was. Ho <laughs> oh, Just like my... Slop sipping... Coupon clipping... Wife? Wife? I think he was gonna say wife. I think he was going to say wife. Of course, he never told me what he woke me up for. More than a little frustrating. <laughs> By Fortnite's heavy bosom. What is that? Ah, sorry, Brad. I swear I just felt a spider crawling on my face. <laughs> Must have just been a twitch of the old mustache whiskers. <laughs> ho oh. You know, I'm surprised you're still awake, Brad. Yeah, I wonder why. Could it be some asshole is yapping in my ear? Ugh. Well, since you're having trouble turning in anyway... I'm not! I suppose you wouldn't mind hearing just a bit more about old Roddy, wouldn't you? I don't know this guy you're talking about. I remember it like it was 40-something years ago. And it was! Ho-ho! Rod shook me awake, big mane of red hair whipping to and fro. Who oh boy, he's shouting, shaking like a leaf blower. I found it! How the world got so arsed up! He's too close to my face, mind, and the way he's talking is annoying me. Yeah, I can't imagine what that would be like. Kind of erratic. What kind of person says arsed in the heat of the moment? I don't know, a British person? Arsed. See? It feels weird for me to say it even now. Ho <laughs> ho. You know, I've heard that arst actually predates ass. And the reason people say ass is because that's how people with British accents would pronounce arse. So, you know, food for thought. Plus, I can feel his spittle on my smooth chin. I shouldn't have shaved that day. Not that I could ever grow much of a beard. Anyways, obviously, this has got me intrigued. His hair being so long, I mean. How did he do that? I'll admit it, I've always been jealous of a good mop. Sturdy follicles escaped me, even then. And that rascally rod knew it! That wasn't the first time he shoved those thick strands in my face like that. Hmm. And when was that first time? Must have been 20 or 50 years ago. How old are you? I was really counting. Just picturing yourself as a- just picture yourself as a child. Five, six, 26 years old. I wouldn't say 26 as a child. Who's counting? Just picture a much younger Brad. For fuck's sake, dude. Let me sleep. This is the longest conversation I've ever had in a video game ever. Now that you're in a childlike state of mind, picture me as a child. I would prefer greatly not to. Exactly eight and a half years old, wrinkleless and energetic I was. Ho ho. It was the summer of 80. 90? Summer of 98? I don't even think you know how old you are. Son of an empty headed bitch, what year was it? Ah, forget it. I'm not big on details anyway. You're just gonna have to deal with that, Brad. Now please, don't interrupt me. I haven't said anything! Ugh. 
Where was I? <laughs> oh, right. Ho oh, ho! It was my first time going over to Rad Rod's house. Now, I was the kind of kid who usually kept to himself, you know. Never been the best at talking with people. Yeah, you can say that again. Can't come up with enough to say. You understand. I mean, I understand. I don't know if you understand. But I worked up the courage at that point to brave a sleepover. So I get over to the Rodster's place. You know, I knock three times. But it isn't my pal who answers the door. Well, I thought it was Rod at first. That mess of ginger on top. But the hair kept on flowing down. Long, beautiful locks. By golly! It was some kind of foxy babe. A tomato-headed slice of juicy fruit. Or is it a vegetable? Are tomatoes fruits or veggies? Uh, they're veggies in the culinary sense, but they're fruits in the biological sense. Either way, she was a seven. Maybe even an eight, if she came with some garlic bread. Ho ho! Hair so saucy you could eat it! Ho ho ho! Is that red hot redhead Rod's snack of a sister or his dish of a mom? It's one of the mysteries I ponder in these rare moments I get to myself these days. You can bet your spaghetti she showed up in my dreams that night. Ho ho! That is, until Rad Rod, the carrot-topped bastard, shook me awake in the middle of the night. Exactly like how you interrupted my sleep just now to talk about discount discounts and girls and junk. Okay. That is what's going on. He kept babbling on and on about seeing the polka dot man right outside his window. He was so close to my face, I couldn't bear it. Our prepubescent whiskers were practically touching. The stench of his dumb kid breath sent tingles of disgust down my spine. What's that? You don't remember the polka dot man? That old urban legend about the greasy guy in the suit creeping around at night? Yeah, he had a polka dot tie or something. Who cares? That's not the point. The point is, it was just typical radical Rodney. Vying for attention. That's why we call him Needy Nay. <laughs> okay. Or Needy Knee, as in Rodney, I guess. He always had to be the f focal point. Constantly embellishing things. People like that, I swear. Dude, let me fucking sleep. Anyway, Brad, all this camaraderie is nice and all, but I appreciate it if you respected my time a bit more going forward. Okay, 99s. <laughs> Jeez, that took forever! You don't feel very well rested. Oh, I wonder why! That took like 15 minutes! Shoot! Jeez! I gotta kick my kick that guy out of my party just for that. Look at these freaks. Are you okay? Do I have to fight you? Oh no. Should I run from this? Last time I tried to fight a mutant, it didn't go very well. Let's see if I can escape. Brad's party has started to escape. Okay. Can I talk to this guy? Look at its smile. Disgusting. I've watched this beast kill dozens. Yet at this moment, you can just sit here and stare into its eyes. And it just stares back, smiling. But you want to kill it, don't you? You'll need something explosive. Firebombs, perhaps, and some good men. Then you may stand a chance. Well, shoot! I came all the way here! How come I didn't regain any health?! I slept to regain health. Nern, is this your fault? You talked to me all night and I didn't get any sleep and I'm still knocked out? Oh my god. Sleep again, Max? This game is a painful RPG. Shoot! You need the gas? Go back? You don't have to. You just have to piss it off and get really lucky. I don't want to die, because if I die, then I'll have to listen to Nern's big in-the-middle-of-the-night diatribe again, and I don't want to do that. Nern has to go. 
Oh my gosh. At least go back to save. If I do that, I'll have to fight a bunch of snakes again. This game. This game is testing me. I don't know what to do. Is the whole point of this game to test your patience? Is this like the getting over it of turn-based RPGs? Is that the idea? Is this game is, you know, just supposed to make you angry? <laughs> what, a, what a predicament. Yes, it is a predicament. <sighs> Nern will not wake you up again. This is meant to beat you down repeatedly. It's just for fun. For, fun for the creator, that is. Yeah, the creator is probably laughing all the way to the bank right now. He made a game to torture people. <sighs> Shoot. Let's see if I can sleep again. Okay, this time, don't wake me up, Nern. I'm resting to rest. A member of your gang has abandoned you. What? Who? Olan? Olan is gone? <laughs> you haven't even gotten to the painful part yet. What do you mean I haven't gotten to the painful part? He gone forever? <sighs> RNG event gone forever. I don't... <laughs> He's gone forever, by the way. I don't think I have... A... <laughs> I don't think I'm lucky enough of a person to play this game because I have bad luck and if I if I play a game that capitalizes on bad luck then I'm going to have a bad time. <laughs> it would have been the funniest thing if it was Nern. <laughs> the game broke? <sighs> if I fight that guy I'm just going to get my ass whooped. Especially now that I lost a dude! I... I literally rested twice. The first time it did nothing because Nern woke me up, and the second time I lost a party member. Are you kidding me? This game is horseshit. This game is awful. Oh my gosh. Discuss techniques, discuss powers. Tell your friend some of your favorite techniques, increases TP of one ally. Tell your friend some of your superhero moves, increases SP of one ally. Just shoot him. Do fireball on him. Terry is being hurtful. Oh my gosh. He can KO my dudes with one hit. He just KO'd Terry. Make sure to surprise attack? I don't know how to do that. I don't know why how that helps. Classic Armstrong attack. An unsuspected kick to the groin causes stunning. Drop kick. I think that's new. Either that's new or machine gun fist is new. Unleashes a flurry of punches. Fireball. Uh, okay. W-A-W-A. -W -A. Let's try that one. And then you're- and then Nern will shoot him. Well, there goes Nern. I must be doing something wrong. This game cannot be this hard at the beginning of the game. It can't be. Surprise attack, DDA, an unsuspected kick to the groin. Okay, we'll try that. DDA. Um, did he attack anyone? What happened there? See, this is why I hate that the text goes by so fast, because something weird happened there and I don't know what it was. <laughs> oh fuck, that was lucky. Hmm, he hit himself? He took 2k damage. Okay. Let's try W-A-W-A -A again. 
Machine gun fist. Just keep doing it. I have to read the text. Charmy attacks. He's doing damage against himself? Why is he doing that? He's whooping his own ass? He wasn't feeling very painful. This game is painful for me. I want to play a game where I know how to play it. Well, I beat him. Only I got XP because everyone else is dead. New skills, horse stance. Zero mags and two pieces of joy. All right. Hey, I beat him. Can I talk to you? Hmm, poor thing. Yeah, I guess. There's, there's nothing here. I came all the way here and there's nothing. You found a child's bicycle. Access it from your key items. You can mount and dismount the dismount the bike with the up arrow. Oh, shift. Okay, I have a little bike now. Oh, I can ride over gaps. That might be useful. Oh, and it lets me go faster, too. Let's try resting again. See what horrible thing happens this time. Oh! Hello? Please back away and never return. I don't know who you are, but you are the last person in this world I trust. Alright. Let's get out of here. Damn it! Hit a snake. Yep, I knew it. You don't have to use campfires. Well, I do have to use campfires. I have to... I have to get health back, don't I? Horse stance is infinite SP, basically. Okay. Alright. Everybody attack snake. Uh, Terry, use your verbal bash on snake. Nern. Shoot Snake with gun. Snake bites Terry, takes almost all of Terry's health. W-A-W-A -A for machine gun fist. The snake bears its fangs. Nern shoots it. Terry is being hurtful. The snake is crying. Okay. Hmm. Heyo, did you know somebody in the Lisa community made Lisa sprites of both you and Goofball? I didn't know that. Did they... Did they do it to add us into the game? Uh, Terry... Terry, I want you to heal yourself. If the snake bites you again, you're a goner. Nern, just shoot. Yep, miss. That's good. That was lucky. Yes! Got him! Hmm. Okay, Nern leveled up. Here's a hint. You suck. I rule. Uh, and Nern learned Ghost Story. Let's get out of here. Let's get the fuck out of here. Whoops! Another damn snake. Ghost story. Tell a spooky tale to induce fear. Hmm. Do I want to strike fear into the heart of this snake? I guess I can try it just to see what it does. Snake bears its fangs. Nern tells a tale. There was no effect on the snake! That's no good. Alright, everyone just attack them. Nern is poisoned. Beautiful. Love it. Great. Thanks. My sweet wife, God rest her soul. 
sweet lemon tea. Do you guys know if there's any way I can get back that guy that I lost? Olan, I think his name was? Did he go somewhere that I can, like, go and pick him up? Oh, I can, I can ride my bike up... Up, uh... Up ropes. It's kind of interesting. Did he leave you at the campfire? Yes, he did. To be fair, I also lost Olan with another event. Don't worry, bud. There are like 30 other characters. Okay. Hey, man. You want to come with me? You're just pointing to the exit? You want me to leave? Yeah, he doesn't want me here, I guess. <sighs> Typical. Let's, let's save. Yeah, I lost a dude. I lost a dude. Shoot. Go to the bar where you found Olan and go right is what I'm hearing. Okay. I think I found him. I think the bar is over here. Nope, it is not. <laughs> I do a little jump. I love that. Yeah, I do. I pop a little wheelie when I go off of uh, edges. That's pretty cool. Not sure what that was about. Anyway, a whole mob of guys ran through here going on about a girl. A balding guy in pink and a phallic headed man in green cut the bridge out. They looked really scared. Neither of them fit for battle. Everyone got pissed and started to leave. Then all of a sudden, these three dudes with amazing hair found the girl. Apparently, she was in that truck. Pretty crazy, huh? They invited everyone back to their clubhouse in the old factory. I didn't go. That chick looked ugly. Yeah, hey, that's my daughter you're talking about. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe this way? Will this lead me to the bar I need to go to? Ah. So the bike... The bike literally just lets me cross a gap that's the size of one square, I guess. But still, that... It could give me a pretty big advantage, depending on... See, like, I wouldn't have got that otherwise. Hmm. <laughs> Who's that asshole? Have I talked to you? Probably. Don't even think about trying to make that jump. You're way too fiat and dull looking. Get a bike, dude. Lose a couple pounds. I am literally on a bike. Yeah, you like that, bitch? See what I did there? Pretty impressive, huh? Barrel bros, watch out for these guys. They won't stop rolling for anything. Slow feet means dead meat, Lord Terry. I'm gonna have to fight these guys, aren't I? Unless, aha, uh -huh, I can sneak past them. Or, I can get hit by one. <sighs> Alright, if he's in a barrel, there might be some protection for him. It turns out that you've been chasing a dude in drag this whole time and your daughter died a long time ago. Would be tragic. Well, I hope that doesn't happen. Um, I have withdrawal right now, so I need to use fireball. Horse stance assumes a sturdy horse stance increases SP. I'm gonna use fireball. Which is... WSD. We will have Terry... First we're gonna have Terry do a verbal bash. And Nern can just shoot. Terry is being hurtful. Crying and pissed! Oh, and Brad didn't even get a chance to attack. Boy, that guy was pathetic. Hmm. Hmm. 
past this guy. This guy's got a gun. Alright, we can take him. Um, you can use your verbal bash again. I don't know why Fireball is not affected by my Joy Withdrawals uh, status effect. Max, are you interested in playing any of the Lisa fan games out there? I mean, I don't know. I mean, let's see if I can beat this one first. I don't know how I feel about a... <laughs> a series of games where the whole gimmick is that they're just painful. Just painful to play. Hey, Terry leveled up. The Hinster's moving on up. New skills. Cool pose. You found some fancy perfume. All right. Can I get up there? Nope. <clears throat> Should I be fighting these guys for the experience, or, or nah? Doesn't really matter. I just joined for five minutes and I had no clue he wasn't enjoying it. I mean... It, I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever played. Whoops! Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say that was fine, I just lost 500 hit points, but... Yeah, everyone is KO'd now. Great. Beautiful. <sighs> I mean, I'm not- I'm not hating this game. I just didn't know that, like, the point of the game was to test your patience. And that's not... You know, I understand, like... I understand, like, the intention of that from a game design perspective, but... Up, oh. and that's a game over. That's a game over, guys. Continue. Let's try that again. And which way did I go? Did I go this way? Yep, here we are. Alright, this time don't fall off a giant cliff like an asshole and lose 500 health points at once. Everybody make a note of that. I'm gonna take that bottle. Grind enemies that don't respawn. They give more than the ones that do respawn, like the cave snake. Well, if it'll help, I could do a little grinding off stream, if it'll help. Watch out for these guys, they won't stop rolling for anything. Slow feet means dead meat. Whoa, 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 no! <laughs> Look at that guy! Did I talk to him? Can I talk to him? There's a dude that kind of looks like me, except he's wearing a, a mesh tank top. If I fall down there, will I be able to get back up? Nope, I will not. I'm sorry! Oh, sub. I thought you were someone else. My pal Jim told me I need to stand here and stare at the sun for a while. Okay, that's a weird friendship you have. My eyes started feeling tingly, so I stopped. Boy, I would have got a real whooping if he caught me cheating. Oh well. Guess I better get back to work. It was nice to meet you. He gave you a tissue. He's staring directly into the sun. Yeah, that's not good for you. What's in here, I wonder? A mysterious blue door. Oh. Hey, Brad. 
Rick should be home soon, I guess. Just, uh, do whatever. Okay, thanks, Shelly. Honey! I'm home! Oh, hi, Brad. You're early. Have you started dinner, hon? No. Oh. Well, I told you we were having company. Uh-huh. It's okay, Rick. I'm not that hungry. No, no, no. It's no problem. We'll order takeout. How's that sound, sweetie? Uh-huh. Great! Where's Junior? Who cares? Oh, that's right. He's probably doing his homework. Such a brilliant young man he is, Brad. I bet he can't wait to meet you. Well, anyway, I better get washed up for Din Din. Who are these people? And why do I have hair again? And that woman is looking a little masculine. Boy, that was tasty. I just love those little cheese things. Junior! There's my little guy. <laughs> Say, Junior, why not join us? Is this an adopted son, or... Fuck you, old man. Whoa, ho, 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 slugger! Let's watch those swear names. Hold on, champ. Did you ask if you could leave? He's a great kid. Richard. Yes, my love. I'm going to watch TV. Okay, honey. Alone. Oh. Yes, dear. Come on, Brad. Let's let's go have some beers in the backyard. I thought that said bears for a minute. So I got this new mower the other day. The grass is looking... Ah, never mind. You all right, Rick? Ah, I don't know, Brad. I wish my life was more like yours. You don't know that, Rick. I'm pretty stupid, Brad, but I'm not that stupid. My wife hates me, and my son. That's a whole nother story. You shouldn't say a whole nother. Nother is not a word. And also, who are you? How do I know you? Are you just like a friend of mine? My job sucks. My whole life's a joke. Well, it's better to have somebody rather than nobody. I guess. I mean, look at you, man. No nagging wife, no kids. You teach martial arts. Your life's awesome. Don't forget about me. Is that my daughter? Is that Lisa? <laughs> What's going on up there? Guy's doing a little sexy dance for his friends, for his Mar for his Mario and Luigi friends. And also, I don't know where I am anymore. Oh, hey mate, you live here? Tell you what, give me all your dirty pages, and we won't totally destroy your little town. So, your magazines? How about it, mate? For fuck's sake, this game won't let me rest for five minutes before it's throwing some kind of bullshit in my face. I guess that was a flashback to before the war, and then I... and now I'm right back in the thick of it? Man, out of the frying pan into the fire. <sighs> give him your mags or fuck right off, mate. Fuck right off. Not the given type, eh? It's okay. We'll change your tune. A lot, of, a lot of dudes to fight here with just Brad, Terry, and Nern. No Olan to help us out. Armstrong style. Uh, Terry, you can do a verbal bash on... What are these guys' names? Toby Cream, Louie Headliner, Crack Ripper, Harley Denim, and Bernie Manti. Right, well, Crack Ripper appears to be kind of the leader of the group. So let's go for Crack Ripper first, and then we'll do the Plunger guys later. Oh, and Nern is KO'd. Great. Love it. Terry is almost KO'd. See, everything goes by so fast that I don't get to follow what happened. Hmm. Um, yep, I can do nothing. I'm paralyzed. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Um... Terry, attack Toby Cream, as if that will do anything. Terry Cream licks you, that's awful. And everyone is dead. 
Pay up now. You gave away all of your mags. This fucking game. This fucking game. I'm trying to make progress and bad things just keep happening. It's reminding me of my life. Miserable. You're not getting off that easy. You don't fuck with the Rhodes Scholars. <laughs> well, they all left, so I guess I do get off that easy. Um, everyone has one HP. God. God! And what happened over here? What happened? They're dead. Well... I'll just never get to figure out what happened there! Shoot! This game is testing me. It's truly testing me. Hello. He's dead. <sighs> this is your fault, Max. What did I do?! I didn't do nothing. I've been a good, well-behaved boy. There's a bar. Uh, I can change my gang here. I don't have anyone else to add, though. I don't know why that Olin guy left me for just no discernible reason. Found some firebombs. Wet stick. Yeah, I suggest loading up your save. Reload your save, don't save over. Um, what... What should I reload my save to prevent from happening? Because it seems like ten bad things just happened to me all at once. So, specifically... What do I need to undo? If you enter that door to the cave before the flashback... If you just give the mags, the town survives. Yeah, everyone in this town is dead now? Um... How do I reload a save? Talk to the bird? Save to which file? There. Quit to title reload. Alright, I'll try that. It's the worst that could happen. Nope! I hit new game. Shit. Shit! Shit! Shit, 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 shit! A game by Dingling. Fuck you, Dingling! You little thief. You can't stop taking L's, Max. Yeah, well, you know, it's welcome to my life. You can't stop taking L's. You know, sometimes in life you're gonna take... You're gonna take L's. Like all the time, for example. You might as well just Alt F4. Alright. Let's try this again. This is a game about life. Yeah, I mean, it's reminding me of life. Hey, Max, will Goofball host one of these streams in the future? I don't think so. I think Goofball is a, vet, a better character... Um, ...when his comedy is scripted. I don't know if I would be able to be funny on the fly in the way that Goofball is funny. I think people probably anticipate that Goofball is supposed to be a funny character. But I don't think I'm I don't think I'm funny enough to play him in real time. If that makes sense.
Do you think Goofball is a fun character to voice? Yeah, he's fun to voice. Later. Should I talk to this guy again? I'm sorry. Oh, what's up? I thought you were someone else. My pal Jim told me I need to stand here and stare at the sun for a while. My eyes started feeling tingly, so I stopped. Boy, I would have got a real whooping if he caught me cheating. Oh well. Guess I get her be better get back to work. Guess I get her get back to work. It was nice to meet you. Alright, bye. Okay, bye. Oh, this again. So before the before the Great Flash, there was apparently some kind of martial arts teacher. <laughs> he just leaves anyway. He's a great kid. Your son does not respect you, my dude. And also, I don't think he is your son. Because... His skin is a different color than yours. Alright, this time, don't go backwards. Let's explore the town first, while everyone's still alive. Hey guys. I fucking hate my life and everyone hates me. I found peace in knowing this. Fair enough. Everyone left to go after that girl. I used to be like that, chasing women. One woman actually. Sneaky, cheating bitch. Woo. Can I talk to you? Keep moving, buddy. I mean, you're keeping us all entertained, doing your little, doing your little booty dance. What's up with this guy? Hi, I'm Mad Dog. I've lost my spiked club. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I like big butts. They never lie. Yeah, true that. I hear that, my dude. I have heard that song before. I have heard that song once or twice. Damn, I'm thirsty. Everybody in this game has their nipples out. Literally everyone. Rain poncho. Football pads. Signed by John Freeway, but it's a mass-produced signature. It's nothing special. Elite pads. Made from thick plastic. Thick like your skull. Sports jersey. Hmm. Show your team support with this overpriced jersey. I mean, it's not that expensive. Okay, so I'll get the rain poncho for me. Did I buy it? Yeah, I bought it. Okay, and I'll get the sports jersey for Terry. And do I have anything I want to sell? Mystery jerky, bottle of soup, joy, cigarette, empty bottle, diet Coca-Cola, or diet Cola, Coca-Cola Cola. <laughs> Their nipples are out because they're sexually deprived. Well, I'm sexually deprived, but I managed to go without exposing my nipples to people who don't want to see them. Don't sell, you'll lose your mags anyway. Well, I'm thinking that I should sell. Or no, I shouldn't. I should buy, but I shouldn't sell. You're right. That is correct. Yeah. But does he have anything I want to buy?
I guess I'll just buy one of everything, if I'm gonna lose all of my money in a minute. Um, equipment. Optimize. Optimize him. Can I optimize you, Nern? No, I cannot. Nern, why couldn't you have been the one that I lost? Definitely find Mad Dog's club. He's a great party member. Yeah, I was thinking, I bet if I find that guy's club, he'll join me. And some fire bombs. Whoop, 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 whoop. Found a wet stick. Save. Have I explored everything here? Is there really nothing nothing to be found? Keep moving, buddy. You should come over from to my place and dance like that for me sometime. That guy has an eye patch on his nipple. I don't know if you guys can see that. This dude right here. You're wearing an eye patch on your nipple, do you know that? I'm just gonna assume you're cool with it. Oh, here are these jerks again. Hey mate, you live here? Tell you what, you give me all your dirty pages. We won't totally destroy your little town. So, your magazines? How about it, mate? I don't live here. I shouldn't have to pay up. But... It seems like I have no other option, because you guys will just fight me and beat me up if I don't. So I'm gonna give you my mags. That's the spirit. You gave them all your mags. We'll be on our way. Alright. Let's make sure nobody else gets hurt. I'm gonna fight this guy. <clears throat> Armstrong. What are my skills again? Fireball. WSD. Okay. And Terry and Nern, you guys just attack regularly. These guys are easy. These guys are easy pickings. The dudes in the barrels are easy. Whoop. Terry leveled up. Love to see it. Sick drops. You found some fancy perfume. I can use that to uh, revive someone who's knocked out, I think. I think I read that. Can I talk to you? Are you friend or foe? Ooh, God! I can't keep doing this! <laughs> can't keep doing what? <laughs> Missed all of them, baby! Of course, I don't know if I should have fought him just to get the XP, but...
Hello. I see you. I see you sneaking. I see you peeking out. I am the Supreme Lord of Surprise, Scott Lawson. And you just got kicked in the groin. Cool. Coolsies. Back up to that ledge and drop down for Mad Dog's Club? Which ledge? Which ledge do you mean? I don't, I don't know if I should trust you. You might be sending me into a pit. Where the barrel boys were. Hmm. In here? Should I be able to, like, see the club somewhere? It's back with the sick one. You know, I'll just fight these guys. That's probably fine. They're easy pickings. Armstrong style attack and attack. Execute. Yeah, see, that's free XP. Why give that up? Nope, nope! Come on. Up there. Okay, so where from here? Mad Dog is what you need. I'm, I'll get Mad Dog. If you guys think that Mad Dog is worth my time, go up? Okay. I have to fight a lot of these dudes. But that's okay. Strong style, attack, shoot, execute. Oh yeah, these guys go down easy. Where from here? It's very high up, you'll take a lot of damage, but it's worth it, promise. Okay, I mean, I'm about as high up as I can go. I can go up here. Where do I go from here? Back to the right, okay. You know the ledge directly under the rock? On the screen to the right, that one. The one with the drop-off. Ledge below. So this ledge? No bike. Alright, I won't use my bike. But I do have to beat this guy first. Eh. It's funny how Terry does that. He's like, eh, I hit you. Oh, I'm Terry, I hit you, I hit you. <laughs> and Nern leveled up. That's one for the books. Alright, I'm off my bike. I'm gonna take a leap of faith here, guys. This is it? Is this it? Somebody in the chat confirm! Somebody in the chat say anything, let's go! Okay? Alright! Oh, 500? That was bad. That was a lot of health I just lost. You found some fancy perfume, okay. You okay? You got a spiked club. Oh, we're gonna bring that right to Mad Dog. Alright! Let's go talk to Mad Dog, give him his club back. Hmm. I think he's over here. Hey Mad Dog, got something for ya! Hi, I'm Mad Dog. That spike club you have belongs to me. May I have it back? Of course! Thanks. Mad Dog joined your party? Question mark? Well, did he or didn't he? 
No, he's here. Alright, I got a new guy. I'm gonna replace the asshole that ran away on me. Hmm. Is there an inn I could stay at anywhere? I do want to stay at an inn, get my health back. That's a bar, not an inn. Not the same. Can I stay here? Damn, I'm thirsty. I guess that's a no. That guy's dressed like Filthy Frank. He's got that green suit on. And you can, uh... You can fall a lot farther when you're on your bike. That's good-ish, I think. Nope, not that. Not that way. Okay. Whoop, whoop. Gentle now. Gentle. Nope, nope, nope. God, I can't keep doing this. I guess the joke is that he's queasy from spinning around in his little thing over and over again. His little barrel. Can I fight this dude? Yeah, I need to heal. Terry is KO'd. Nern is KO'd. He's playing a very dangerous game right now. Club. Yeah, club this dude, mad dog. Oh, and he's bleeding. That's good. Sorry, son. I can do nothing for you, son. God, what movie was that? Is that a Jeff Bridges movie? What's the movie? There was a cowboy movie where in the trailer, the guy, there was a guy who would say, I can do nothing for you, son. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Son, I can do nothing for you. Do nothing for you, son. Hey, bird. True Grit. Yes, that's it. Thank you. The True Grit remake. I remember. Guys, remember when Jeff Bridges said, I can do nothing for you, son? Remember that? In that movie? I saw that movie in theaters. Don't rem remember much from it, but... Remember that part. Son, I can't do... Oh, oh, oh! What the fucky? What the hecky? Gotta fight a damn bush? Shoot. Son, I can do nothing for you, son. Son, I can do nothing for you. Love him, I guess. Ambusher. Oh, I get it. That's kind of clever. Weak point. He's weak to fire. Good to know. Oh no, I'm KO'd! Well, it's down to you, Mad Dog. Mad Dog, you got that dog in you? You got that dog in you, Mad Dog? Mad Dog, you can do it. Mad Dog, we're all rooting for you. Now tell me what you're gonna do when there ain't nowhere to run. When judgment comes for you. When judgment comes for you. Are those song lyrics? What you gonna do? When there ain't nowhere to hide. When judgment comes for you. Cause it's gonna come for you. See you at the crossroads. 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 Okay, I think that's a song. I think those are song lyrics. So you won't be lonely. See you at the crossroads. 
Yeah, bye. Literally everyone is dead. It's just Mad Dog now. Can I get more health, like, literally anywhere? W2D. Uh. Uh, hello. If I talk to you, are you gonna want to fight me? Because I can't fight right now. He's completely lost in the music. Yeah, no, I feel you. I feel you. I get that. You know, you get lost in the sauce sometimes. I like your, uh... Your Sandy Cheeks... ...style... ...head... ...dome... ...glass head dome thingy. Glass helmet. But, uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Take it easy, pal. Not sure what that was all about, but... Dude's wearing a damn fishbowl on his head. You gonna attack me? No? Alright. I hope I am almost at a campfire or something. Hey, guys. You guys hear about that girl? Psh, heard she's a real horse. You telling me you wouldn't go for a piece of that? I think she's a child, you guys. I think she's like 12. I didn't say that. I'm just saying it's a shame she's ugly. But who's complaining, am I right? I heard that crew in the old factory has her. Get the hell out. Are they hostile? Those guys? They're angels. They're letting people take turns. No charge. Ooh. That place is packed. You better hurry if you want to go at her. Nicey slicey. Totally. Well, we better... Huh? Who's that? Huh? You snake in the grass. Oh, great. Well, I'm fucked. I have to fight this guy with just Mad Dog. Maybe I can use... Some fancy perfume on Brad. Alright, Brad is back. Um, and we're gonna have him do Armstrong style, and we are going to have Mad Dog also use a fancy perfume, because I have two, on Terry or Nern. Terry or Nern. Hmm. I think Nern is probably more useful right now, because Nern can actually do damage. Oh, and I'm not having withdrawal anymore, that's good. No, don't use any of that. Just shoot him. Just shoot him. Your mad dog skills. Taunt. Cry out to gather TP and attract attention. Fireball. A strong emotional blast. And nail comb. Drag the nails of your club across the face of your opponent. Um. I'll try fireball, I guess. Piss! I don't know who said piss. Was it him? Ah, damn it! <laughs> cute. It's cute when the characters swear. Bye. So long, friend. Sorry I had to kill you. Hey, a fireplace! Let's hope something bad doesn't happen. Fingers crossed, nothing bad. Big money, big money, no whammies, come on! Um... Okay, I'm wearing a mask, and now the mask is gone. It is that is that fine? That's a good outcome. Funny hat, Rando's boy mask. Oh, it's him again. That's a lucky one. Okay. I like that Max never got revenged for getting kicked in the crotch. Should I go? Should I go fight that guy who kicked me in the groin? Should I? 
Yeah, revenge for your groin. Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Well, everyone's at full health again, so... Let's see, why not? I'll show him. I'll show you. You can hit me in the groin. You think you can give me a... a swift kick to the nuts, pal? Oh. The groin. My only weakness. That's, that's it? I don't even have to fight him? I'll take that XP. And I'll level up with it. I, if I don't mind. New skill, tackle. The Hinster's moving on up. Alright. <laughs> you okay? He's dead inside. Oh, that's even worse than being dead for real. Can I make it over there? I'm not gonna risk it. Yeah, I wouldn't have made it. What do we got here? What's going on? Hey boys, what's the haps? Trying to get into a bar? You kind of look like Hitler. Are you Hitler? Oh boy, I can't wait for my turn. Can't wait for your turn to hit the bar with a pipe. Let me in! Oh man, this sucks. They locked the door. This is hopeless. She's probably been ripped to shreds by now. Oh, is this where they're keeping the girl? Hmm. I don't like thinking about my daughter being gang r-worded gang graped by every by every able-bodied man around i shall wait patiently no need for crass behavior as i wait for my turn to statuatory a child i can't see shit nothing but dudes hmm. w2d i see that everywhere w2d it's locked <clears throat> Go to the right for a special item at the top. Actually, you know what I could do? So I can go in here? Yep! Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, you enjoying that butt graffiti, my dude? Contemplating a nice work of art? Alright, that's cool. That's cool. I get it. I get it. That's cool. Hey, everyone. Oh, hello! You here for the girl? You dirty bird, of course you are! We here at the Magnificent Mains Men Club are all about the people. We do our best to make your time on this terrible earth as enjoyable as possible. And lucky us, we found a sweet little treat that's been running around. She's such a peach. Well, I'll go ahead and let you go take a whack at her. Let me just... Wait a minute. Your head. Your hair. Yeah, I'm bald. There is none? We only allow men with hair to rape this child. You come into our club with no hair? You dandy fuck. You just made the biggest mistake of your life. Oh, great. What the hell? You guys know your hair is all conjoined into a weird monster? Did you know that? Firebomb time. Everyone is saying fire. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll firebomb him. If I have a firebomb... Which I think I do. I have a fireball. Oh, Terry has hints and skills. Knuckle drop, a momentum-based fist punch, a poor maneuver. Well, maybe we won't bother with that one. Cool pose, I think this is new. Makes you feel like you're cool, but you're really not. Items, mystery jerky, perfume, empty bottle, joy, tissue. 
Okay, Terry, because you don't have any strong attacks, we're gonna put you on firebomb duty. Nern? Um... Ghost story. Tell a spooky tale to induce fear. Do I want to make them afraid? Would fear work on them? Use all your fire attacks on the hair. They're useless without it. Ah. So like the biblical Samson. I see how it is. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna attack for now. Shoot. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me go to the start. We're gonna have everybody attack the hair in particular. Hair. Okay, he's attacking hair. Items. Firebomb on all foes. Good. Shoot. I'm gonna shoot the hair. And Mad Dog, what are your skills? Fireball. Good. Love it. You are going to use that on their hair. So we are going to see if we can singe their hair up real good. Can't believe they're bald phobic. I know! And in current year. Yeah, get fucked, you guys. Weak point. Oh, Nern got KO'd. Hmm. All right, Nern is already out. So that's it for him. Strong skills on hair. Terry, we're gonna have, to have you throw another firebomb. Mad dog. Uh, maybe just club their hair. Hair whips you. Oh no, Brad is KO'd. Characters get KO'd so damn easy. Um. You have perfume. Yeah, that's good. I guess I should revive Brad. Alright, Terry, hit him with the last firebomb. And Mad Dog, use your perfume on Brad. Ooh! Baldified! You guys are bald now, motherfuckers. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to the club, the hair club for men. Hmm. All right. Armstrong skills. Actually, you know what? Which one do we want to use? Let's use the machine gun fists. Now that the hair is gone, and that's W A W A. Uh, Terry, just do a. Mm. Terry, why don't you cheer for me to increase my health? And Mad Dog, just club. Oh, I think I entered that wrong. Shoot. You're asking for it. Oh, I'm asking for it, huh? Oh, I'm asking for it, huh? Hmm. Okay, let's try that again. Terry, I want you to do a cheer for yourself this time, and Mad Dog just club. Okay, W A W A. Uh, Terry, oh, Terry is out of SP. Skills, knuckle drop. Momentum-based fist punch, a poor maneuver. We'll try it. And Mad Dog can just keep on clubbing. Mmm, 78, not bad. Men's hair club presidents are grinning at you. Okay. I don't like the sound of that. Alright, everyone just attack now. I think we have them on the ropes. Oh, the hair manatee! Yes, got him! Unfortunately, our pal Nern isn't gonna be getting any XP, but... Mad Dog leveled up, so that's something. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. They're done. They're donezo. You still looking at that ass? Yeah, impressive, huh? It's an impressive ass. I don't think... I don't need to worry about anybody else attacking me, right? I miss my son. Thank God for the joy. Oh, Poor guy's addicted to drugs. Mm, the joy. You guys need to get off the... Off the junk, you know? He's lost in his own world. I can only be bribed with magic pancakes. Fair enough. This place is paradise. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you might want to raise your standards a little bit. If this is paradise for you. Remember, too much of a good thing is wonderful. Girls upstairs. You can get a drink or two here. Lucrative tea, diet, Coca-Cola, cola, potato liquor. Capable of getting you drunk, recovers 200 HP, boosts TP before battles to 15 while drunk. Revives TP. I don't think I want any of this. Hmm. So the girl's in here, huh? You're not a girl. Please, I don't want to do this. Look at me, I'm not a woman at all. I have a mustache. I'm just a truck driver. My truck is still by the bridge. The one the girl escaped on. In the back of my truck, I have the tools to fix the bridge. Save me, we can repair it together. Really? Oh, thank you so much! Farty Hernandez joined your party. Okay. I think that means he'll, uh... He'll go and he'll... Repair the bridge towards the beginning of the game. Hey everyone, there's not actually a girl in here. It's just a dude. It's just a femboy. Typical, you know? Oh, hello. You just relaxing by a sunset? I need some painkillers. Well, hello to you too. Let's go, hurry up. Oh, is that me? Am I saying that? Dude, what's wrong with you? You're acting funny. Don't worry about it. Brad, what's up? Tell me, dude. Sticky, shut your mouth and give me the drugs. Brad, I'm not giving you anything until you tell me what's going on. Sticky, I don't need this shit right now. Just hook me up! No, man. Not this time. What the hell? Something's wrong with you. Drugs are not what you need right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are you a friend of mine from earlier in the game that I don't remember? I'm just not feeling you right now. Sorry. Hmm. Is this guy gonna fight me? I don't know who's gonna fight me and who isn't. I think I need to, uh... I think I need to call it quits for the day. So let's save. We did make some good progress. And I'm starting to get the hang of this game. But let's save. Um, and a quick recap. I lost Olin. Olin randomly decided to run away in the night. I acquired Mad Dog. Do you still hate this game, Max? No, and I never hated it. I'm just, um... You know, it, 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 I guess it... You know, it, it, it's it's taking me a bit to kind of get into it. This game has a steep learning curve. It seems like, from what I've heard about it... Um, the beginning is tricky. And that's... That's right where I am. Um... But yeah, quick recap. Lost Olin. Gained Mad Dog. Uh, found a place where supposedly they were holding my daughter. She wasn't there. It was just a guy that was being used for grape pur purposes, unfortunately. Uh, this is a very dark game. Definitely not for the faint of heart. Considering all, <laughs> all the bad, horrible things that are going on. There's a lot of grape going, al going on that we have to turn a blind eye to. But it is the post-apocalypse. So perhaps you're gonna get that, unfortunately. Whoops. 
Ah, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Can we escape? Nope. Alright, well, so we'll kill him and we'll just... We'll just end it real quick. Yeah, Mad Dog can take dudes out in one hit! Damn, Mad Dog, you didn't have to kill him! Yeah. Whoops, and another guy hit me. Hmm. Drop, drop a train on him, Mad Dog. Oh, and Terry leveled up. Yeah, I think we're done for the day. That's it! That's it, guys. That's all she wrote for today. We acquired Mad Dog. Oh, Mad Dog doesn't seem too bad. You know? Thanks for the stream. Well, you're welcome. Thank you for joining me. Unfortunate, unfortunate, I entered the stream at the butt end, but it was really done. I'm gonna assume you meant fun. I'm gonna assume you meant fun. Well, folks, that's it for me. Thank you to everyone who showed up today. Thank you for inviting me into your home and allowing me to spend the afternoon with you. It's been an honor and a privilege. And remember, red and yellow, black and white, you are precious in my sight. So long. <laughs>